Little Papa Five, Whiskey Bravo Mike from Mike's and Bravo Alpha Alpha. It's a whole different quality. It all totally depends on temperature and mixture. Are you both you now? I'm just over telling you. I'm not over here now, the noise level. I'm back Okay, so looking at the Yaesu FT101 and the plan is to run it on 12 volts or more specifically to start it on a lower voltage and wind it up to 12, 13 volts, possibly 8 volts. I have wired up this connector which the camera wants to not focus on. So this rewires the radio for DC. That's why there's 12 pins on it. And it's important to get these pins correct because there's two types of plug and the numbers are different. So I'll show you a diagram of how that works. So that'll be going on here. I'll do it one handed. And yes, it's I'm aware that that's dangerous. I can put a cover on it later. So don't be putting your fingers near exposed wiring. And the other thing I'm going to do of course is to fit an aerial. And if you haven't got an aerial, the best thing to do is to get a test meter lead and add it onto your long wire aerial. My power supply is here and I'll be winding it up nice and gradual. So we'll turn that all the way down. Okay. So let's see what happens next. Okay, so the intention was to set this to a low voltage, make sure the current limit is not on maximum, turn the radio on and progressively wind up the voltage. So my output is turned on. This is my homemade power supply. I can see the, the, the lights come on straight almost straight away, which is really good news. And we're receiving something. So we turn it up to 13.8 volts. There's a couple of things that I expect issues with on both of these radios, which are that these parts are noisy and scratchy. And this switch particularly. I have operated it a few times, but it hasn't been moved for years, so going to have to clean them all. So I have some contact cleaner. Don't use WD-40. WD-40 just leaves oil everywhere. It's not good for radios. Especially where high voltages are concerned because it could actually catch fire. So yeah, there's not a lot of anything going on on that one. We've experimented with this a little. Not a lot going on. Okay, so that appears to affect the receiver, whether it affects the transmitter as well, no idea. I did test if my light was causing the... The light is causing some of the interference. Should probably get rid of that switch mode power supply as well. See if that improves it a bit. Okay, I don't even know what... I think that's 5 megahertz band. Try top band. So we're getting a reasonable signal level, it's just not demodulating or anything. Now I did try this the other night and I was able to listen to a couple of stations. Okay, so either we've got some very flat bands, or... Uh, yeah, what's that called? Okay, I'm, again, I'm following the SDR a bit, and we've got this in. It doesn't seem to affect it. Does it affect it if I unplug it? 
Yes, it does. So whatever this thing does, it's helping. So we're on 20 meters, 14 megahertz. How delighted am I? Okay, so I've got a bit of work to do yet, cleaning up contacts and making sure everything's sitting properly, but I've got exactly what I wanted, which is a project, two projects indeed. So I really look forward to uh, improving these. I've even located the paint. Not the paint, but one that's a pretty close match. So I'll be respraying this one, and the other one is grey anyway, so that's easy. Right, so there's several wafers on this. I can only get at the front ones at the minute. So let's lubricate those. I'm trying to see which side the contacts are on. It's not easy to see. At least it goes round and round forever. So I can do one side and then I can turn it round and do the other side. And just keep turning it continually. It's quite hard on the fingers as well. We've got a double pot here. I think we did that one. Feels pretty loose. This feels gnarly. Now I think the reason being there's lots of cracking in the gears. Now you can actually buy replacements for these but they're about 30 quid. So that's something I may investigate. Slow motion drives are a very mechanical thing. So yeah, I want to be careful where I put it, but I'll have a bit on that shaft. I'll have a bit around there, a bit on that shaft. Yeah, that uh, tuning control is pretty miserable. So that pre-selector I want to turn it too far because I want it to go back in the same position. See, see that jumps there. Stop talking just as you get near the frequency. It doesn't tell when you're on the wrong side band of course. It sounds like the band's falling off now, but uh, I'm really happy with the re result. Hopefully the summer camp will come alive the same. Uh, and if you have anything interesting to report, I'll add it in. I will record the transmit mode when I get it working. I've got some work to do on my antenna before I can actually transmit. I'm going to have to get an ATU, um, possibly a power meter as well. Well, this is what I always wanted to do, it's what I used to do in my early teens and I thoroughly enjoyed listening to people all over the world. All we've got to do is arrange that for that phone to shut up. But there we go, hope you enjoyed the video, please leave me some comments and uh, 
Let's see what happens next. Thanks for joining me. Yeah.